This is ABC 7 News at 5. The jury is out tonight on a man accused of getting teenagers drunk at beer pong tournaments and then sexually assaulting them. 40-year-old Joey Poindexter was convicted of a similar crime just last week. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis is live outside the courthouse with the unusual move that Poindexter made at trial. Kevin, tell us about it. Yeah, Leon Poindexter apparently wasn't a big fan of his defense team who taken the case pro bono, and so he fired them. The judge told Poindexter it was a, quote, ridiculously stupid decision, but acknowledged he couldn't stop the man from making that call. And so in a very bizarre twist here, Joey Poindexter has spent the week cross-examining his own alleged victims. Joey Poindexter was a household name in the competitive beer pong circuit. Police say he used the social sport to lure young, intoxicated men to this Gaithersburg home where he'd assault and then sodomize them. That alleged streak ended last October when an 18-year-old local college student reported Poindexter to police. A search of his home uncovered dozens of other potential male victims on various electronic devices. During closing arguments today, prosecutors picked away at Poindexter, saying he screwed up. He made photos and videos of every terrible thing he did in an organized system where he put his trophies five layers deep in his external hard drive. That's what you do with your sex assault trophies. You hide them. The prosecution then played one of those videos in court where a teenage male victim could be heard repeatedly slurring the words no and stop. Poindexter, who fired his prestigious legal team and is now representing himself, told the jury he can't be proven guilty because his face never appears in the pictures or videos. The 40-year-old saying, the state is not infallible. They make mistakes, and this is one of them. This case is full of holes. Well, after nearly four hours of deliberating today, the judge sent the jury home around the stroke of 5 o'clock. They will reconvene tomorrow. If found guilty on all eight counts in this case, Joey Poindexter could spend the next 140 years in state prison. We're live in Rockville. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News.